It's the BFO Brady's Bowl here in St. Petersburg, Florida, as our UTSA Roadrunners prepare to take the field against the Pitt Panthers. A few weeks ago, UTSA was sitting at 3-6, and six, and we wondered where they would end their season, and they're going to end it here in a bowl game for the second straight season here in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl, sponsored by Beef O'Brady's Family Sports Pubs and the Oakland Raiders Connected Careers. So now, it's UTSA in Pitt, UTSA coming off of last year's 58 to nothing loss in the Armed Forces Bowl against Florida State. They want to show the world that they can fight, and they want to bring home that trophy. It's the second ever bowl game in the history of the young UTSA football program. This year marks their fifth year as a football team. And their opponents today, the University of Pittsburgh, was established in 1787. And they look to get it going on offense here early as Wojtek finds Lewis for a first down. Now operating in UTSA territory, it's first down and 10, Wojtek. Fires to the sideline, intercepted, it's Kyle Nichols down the sideline, steals it away out of the air, inside the 30, and he's taken down just shy of the 20 yard line of Pittsburgh, and UTSA gets a big defensive play, and now they have the football. We remember last year, 58 to nothing, but now UTSA is in prime scoring position. Eric Hancock has led the way for UTSA down the stretch, three straight victories in the regular season, looking to cap off the year here. Second down and eight for UTSA. Two receivers left. It's a handoff. Banks left side. Powers his way up field. That's good for about seven. Anthony Banks, of course, the first ever 1,000-yard rusher in UTSA history, but now on third and one. Hancock to throw. He finds Stevens inside the five. First down and goal coming up for the Roadrunners. Let's take another look here. Pressure incoming on Hancock, but he stands tall and gets a throw off. Now it's first and goal. Handoff, Banks up the middle, and he's broken the plane. Touchdown, UTSA strikes first. From three yards out, it's Anthony Banks, his seventh touchdown of his junior season, and UTSA goes up 7-0. A more than ideal start for UTSA as they take the defensive field again and shell off of the pitch on the option, and he's got nowhere to go. It's out of Femi Adigi. Now Shell in motion, Wojtek on the keeper, and Andre Ross takes him down, a loss of two. They've gone backwards, eight yards on this drive, third down and 18. Wojtek, clean pocket, fires deep down the sideline. It's incomplete, almost intercepted by Dominic Carter. A dominant defensive start for UTSA. Second down and 10 for the runners, it's seven nothing here, 328 to go. Banks up the middle, not much room, two yard gain at the most, as Banks now appears to be hurt, grabbing that left arm. Third and eight as Danny Moss comes in for the injured Anthony Banks, and he stands to the left of Hancock out of the shotgun. Hancock fires, caught Harrison, the senior, playing his final game, one of the original Roadrunners first down UTSA. Now on second, Hancock to throw, fires deep, going for the end zone, looking for Harrison, he's got it, touchdown! UTSA extends their lead, 13 to nothing, off of the throw from Eric Hancock to the speedy receiver, Kenny Harrison in the back of the end zone, just burn the defense, touchdown, UTSA, and the crowd goes rowdy for our Roaders, and they're loving it here in St. Petersburg. What a start for the runners at 14 to nothing. They hold the lead here at the end of the first quarter, about 50 seconds to go. It's Hall on the catch, escaping Brandon Ford. He gets yards after the catch as well, and he's close to midfield. First down and 10, Abrams in motion. It's a misdirection, play action, fake actually. And Wojtek's got Merville, who takes a shot, gets away from Carter, but it's a first down. 22 seconds to go, another misdirection play action, and wide open is Merville again inside the 20. First down, Panthers. Second down and two as we begin play here in the second quarter. Morris in motion, handoff, Shell. Russell Shell to the outside, touchdown Pittsburgh as he finds the end zone. Good blocking in front of him, and Pittsburgh has cut this lead in half, pending the extra point. It'll be 14 to seven in favor of UTSA. Already 14 points from this offense. What can they do on this next possession? It's Danny Moss left side. Good for five. It's third down. Oscar Bridges is the tailback in the backfield. Three receivers slot right Randy Jones. Hancock throws quick right, and it's dropped by Randy Jones. He would have had a first down, but instead it's a three and out. 
Second down for Pittsburgh after the punt by UTSA. Hand off to Russell Shell. Up the middle, good for about four yards, third and one. The tailback, Russell Shell, is slot right. He's coming in motion, and it's Wojtek on the keeper who takes a hit, and Anthony Allen has him down just shy of the first down marker, and UTSA's defense remains stout. 3.16 to go here in the second quarter. It's Danny Moss on the give. Up the middle, he goes up ahead for about seven yards. 2.41 to play in the first half. Out of the shotgun, Hancock takes the snap. Over the middle, it's caught short by Danny Moss. Good enough for a first down on top of the logo. Twin tight ends, both of them lined up on the right side of the formation. It's second down and 12. Hancock wide open is Trevor Stevens. And he's wrapped up shy of the first down marker. It's a third down and three coming up. As you can see, Stevens make this grab and be taken down almost by the neck. All right, third down and three. Hancock takes the snap and immediately rolls right. Looking downfield, doesn't like what he sees. Holding on to the football. He's hitting the ball, seals out of bounds. Offenses have slowed down a bit as defenses are taking control. Wojtek to the outside, caught by Hall. Just past the 20 yard line, first down. 60 seconds to go in the first half. It's 14-7 UTSA as Wojtek pumps and throws over the middle. Intercepted, Dominic Carter, and he's got it at the 25 yard line. A flag flies in. Will this be holding on the return? It will be, and it knocks UTSA 10 yards back, obviously. But still, a big play by Carter. He had the big pick six last week to put the game away, and he showed up today again. So UTSA can make this a two-score game before the break. Hand off Moss. Left side. What a juke! Inside the 10, taken down to the 5. Danny Moss shows off his blend of speed and agility. Look at that nasty juke. It's a great block. Springs it for another 10 yards. First down and goal. It's Hancock to throw. Dumps it off. Moss. Touchdown. UTSA is back on the board. It's 20 to 7 now as Hancock fires short and it's caught by Danny Moss. Easy touchdown out of the backfield and Moss is doing great work in place for the injured Anthony Banks. That's definitely how UTSA wanted to go into the locker room at halftime. But we're not quite to halftime yet. 21 seconds to go. It's Russell Shell up the middle and he found a gaping hole in the UTSA defense. And instead of being content going to halftime, Pittsburgh's now airing it out, and it's Castuhe making the grab at the 30-yard line of UTSA. And now in field goal range, Pittsburgh can boot this up and through. Jimmy Marcus gets him back on the board. 21-10 now at half, as it's UTSA up by 11 points. A very strong first half. Started off hot. Pittsburgh has fought back a little bit, but now we'll go to the second half and see how UTSA finishes the season. They started off strong and they look to finish this game with their first ever bowl victory. UTSA up 21-10 over the Pitt Panthers and it's Pittsburgh football here in the third quarter. Wojtek middle cut by Castuhe on top of midfield. Good for a first down. Here's a shotgun snap to Wojtek. Fakes the jet sweep and looks to pass. Wide open is Morris. First down taken down by Brandon Ford of the UTSA 40. On second down, Wojtek, quick pass, looking outside, caught by Castuhe inside the five, down at the one yard line, lobbed it right over the top of the defense, one more look here, a very quick throw, only a three step drop, and now they're at the one. Pittsburgh threatening to make it a one score ball game, first down and goal, Wojtek, middle, intercepted, Adafemi Adiki, stolen in the end zone, and UTSA has a turnover, there we go. The ultimate momentum killer is an interception in the end zone. Now UTSA has the football, 21 to 10 thanks to the defense. Oh, Danny Moss couldn't get around his tackle and defender gave him the hard shoulder. Second down and 11, twin tight ends to the left. Leading the way for Danny Moss who gets hit hard again for an eight yard gain. Third down and three, can Hancock convert? Middle caught Stevens, that'll move the chains for UTSA. Five minutes to play here in the third quarter. Twin tight ends, handoff. Oscar Bridges looking for room on the outside. He sheds two defenders and gets four. Now it's third down and two. Hancock drops back. Blitz is picked up beautifully, and Harrison can't hang on to the grab. He was ripped and thrown to the ground, and Pittsburgh's defense holds. Wojtek threw an end zone interception last drive, but no damage done. It's still 21-10 here in the third quarter. 
Three and a half to play in the third. Handoff. Russell Shell picks up a block up the middle across the first down marker, just shy of midfield, as Russell has 66. Three and a quarter to play. It's first down and ten. Wojtek middle. Castuhe and Castuhe breaks away inside the five. Touchdown. Panthers strike. And what looked to be a simple slant just turned into 52 yards and a touchdown. It was Kasue breaking away from Jason Holmes and then splitting the savings of the speed. And the Panthers are now within four. Second down and six for UTSA. The lead has been trimmed to four points. Hancock off the play action. He's hit, fumbles the football. UTSA does recover, but Hancock's now on the ground in pain. He's back. It's Evan Newton into the game for the injured Eric Hancock. We'll talk about his injury here once we get an update on the sideline. But it's third down and 14 for UTSA. And Newton stands tall, fires deep. And Whitaker, did he make that catch? He held on. But they're going to say no feet in bounds. And so close. Close, but not close enough. It's Pittsburgh football here late in the third quarter. Plenty of time to play. To the sideline for Lewis. What a lob. First down Pittsburgh inside of UTSA territory. Chad Wojtek lines up out of the I formation. Handoff. Russell Shell outside to the right. And he breaks a tackle and is down at the UTSA 16. Once again in the red zone, out of the eye again, Voitik to throw, fullback into block, and evading pressure in the pocket, now firing deep, touchdown! Russell Shell has given Pittsburgh the lead. How Voitik managed to escape all that pressure in the pocket is beyond me. Shell ran a simple swing, but saw his quarterback in trouble and turned it into a wheel route, and he got hit for a touchdown. Voitik to Shell, Pittsburgh now on top for the first time. 24 to 21. Pittsburgh has stormed back, and Evan Newton is still in the football game as he hands off to Oscar Bridges, and he will pick up the first down. And it appears Hancock will not return to the game as he has back spasms, and Banks will not return either. Third down and eight for Newton. Rolling out to his right. On the run. First down. Kenny Harrison. Great throw by Hancock, that's his athleticism, that's what he brings to the table. Eric Hancock is largely the reason why UTSA is in this position, but now it's up to Evan Newton to finish the job. Outside, caught by Jason Todd at the six yard line, first down, great strike from Evan Newton. Now out of the eye, handoff on the counter to Bridges and he will be stopped in the backfield. Second down and 10, twin tight ends for Newton as he looks to throw. He fires, and he's got Todd, and he powers his way. Touchdown! UTSA back on top, thanks to Evan Newton's 10-yard touchdown pass to his tight end, Jason Todd. 28-24 to in favor of the runners. What a game we have here in the Beefo Brady's Bowl. Pittsburgh on offense with 344 to play. And they're down by four. They need a touchdown. Shell now out of the Wildcat. Hands off to Smith. Going right side. Breaking tackles. And he keeps rumbling his way across midfield inside of runner territory. 3.08 to play. Can UTSA hold on? Chad Voigt took the throw. And it's dropped by Merville over the middle. It's third down. That was a big drop. Now it's third down and 10. Can UTSA hold them here? Wojtek in the pocket, rolling to his right, now throws back, incomplete, UTSA's defense holds, fourth down. We all know what UTSA wants to do here, 2.16 to go, they want to burn the rest of this clock. Newton fires in second down, caught by Jason Todd, and Pittsburgh burns a timeout. On third and two, can they move the chains? They need two yards, Newton back to throw, he's hit, fumbles, and UTSA recovers, but it's fourth down. After a free rusher off the edge is given up, both tight ends on the left side went out for routes, and that left a free rusher to sack Evan Newton. Pittsburgh has a shot. Two minutes to play, plenty of time. One timeout for Pitt. At midfield, handoff. Russell Shell up the middle, hit by Dominic Carter on the four-yard gain. Remember, they need a touchdown. A field goal does them no good. And it's Jones over the middle, first down at the 35-yard line, down to the 32. Under 90 seconds to play. Chad Voitick to throw. In the pocket, a four-man rush. Fires deep, and it's dropped by Lewis. In traffic, two defenders in the vicinity. And now third down and five. Pittsburgh comes out with three tight ends and will throw. Voitick dumps it off to Abrams. Tackled immediately. It's fourth down and four. 
The season and the Beef o Brady's Bowl is on the line. Fourth and four for Pittsburgh. They have to convert. Voitick over the middle. Caught by Merville. First down inside the 10-yard line. Pittsburgh stays alive and converts. Here's a throw one more time. Separation away from Jason Holmes. And it's first down. Panthers. A split backfield for Pittsburgh with 28 seconds and a flag flies in. This could be a false start penalty. Indeed it will. Go back up five. First down and goal now from the 12-yard line. Wojtek dumps it off, caught short by Hall at the 6, and tackled immediately. Third down and goal from the 14-yard line. Three wide for Pittsburgh. Jones in motion. Wojtek takes a snap, fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Pittsburgh has taken the lead with just around 10 or 11 seconds remaining. It was Murville who escaped Dominic Carter, and there's not much time for UTSA to answer. Only 10 seconds to play, down by three. A field goal does help UTSA. They only have 10 seconds to play. Newton back to pass. Fires and his pass is off the mark. Big time, almost picked off. Now it's second down and 10. What can you do with six seconds? You have time for one play, maybe two. Here it is. Newton takes a snap. Quick throw, caught Rose. And they call a timeout with two seconds to go on the nine-yard catch. This is what it all comes down to, the final play of the season. Two seconds left. Newton takes a shotgun snap, under pressure, airs it out downfield, and Darren Rose has it knocked from his hands, and the season is over. UTSA has lost a heartbreaker to the Pitt Panthers here in the Beef Brady's Bowl. What an excellent game. Congratulations to the Pittsburgh Panthers and the University of Pittsburgh. UTSA almost had it. They were so close, but Pittsburgh comes through in the end of the game, gets a big touchdown with just a few seconds remaining, and they knock off the UTSA Roadrunners, and the season finishes like this. Six and six in the regular season, a loss in the Beef Brady's Bowl. This team was young, and for a while it looked like they would not sniff the postseason, but after that last three games, that stretch where they won all three, they made it to the bowl game and we're that close to getting their first bowl title. But we'll try again next year. The offseason is up next. I'm planning on doing the offseason live stream either Tuesday or Wednesday. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash MrHurricane and find out when that stream will be. I'll announce it. I'll try to announce it at least 24 hours ahead of time. But thank you guys for watching and supporting our season of UTSA football. And we'll see you next season.